Hey guys, what's happening? So, I uh, designed this uh, spool holder in Fusion 360 and I thought I'd show you how it works. This uh, video is to go on my Thingiverse page. So yeah, it's a uh, ball bearing uh, spool holder for a uh, 2020 uh, printer. Like a CR10 or like a ANET or like a TiVo. One of those frame style, uh, or any sort, any sort of 2020 printer. Um, so I had to go on a 2020 rail. A um, couple different inserts, if you can see that in the camera. Um, dual 608 ball bearings. The spool right here. So it spins nice and freely. Like that. And it's actually yeah, curved like that. That keeps the spool on track right there. So it stays straight and doesn't rub against this right here. Like that. And I have a little filament hole um, to keep it from, uh, from, from, from backlashing. So I created a couple different inserts. Um, and I actually made the hole big enough for a PTFE tubing right there. And then this one, which will also be on the page, is if you want to put like a foam insert, that will actually clean the filament as it goes through. So it just pops through like that, like that. Like I said, I designed this in uh, Autodesk Fusion 360. And uh, one of the issues you have sometimes with these uh, ball bearing, um, uh, ball bearing spool holders, is it can spin like this, and you'll get like some backlash on it. You can find the end of it, the filament. Like if it pulls too hard, you know, like it gets like this backlash, you know, like that. See how it got a loop like that? So that's the whole point of going through here, is uh, as it pulls through, it's very easy to pull through, but it kind of prevents it from backlashing because it's kind of holding it in place. So it won't pull it too hard. It's sort of like a, it's, it's super easy to pull because it's super slick PTF e-tubing, but it also kind of prevents it from backlashing. So that was my thought on that. So yeah, because I actually learned that from uh, on my printer bot, I actually had this, and I was getting that kind of backlash on my printer bot. And this is the design I'm replacing. This is some other person's design. And it doesn't have any ball bearings, but sometimes what it does is it, it creates jerk on this thing. So by not being able to easily be pulled out, it's bouncing. I can feel like the tension on this thing going up and down, up and down as it's moving around. So it's actually putting a lot of tension on, on this. But at the same time, when your, your extruder is moving around, it, it's almost like it creates a little bit of jerk too. So it makes the jerk worse. Um, yeah, then I had other issues with this, so, but, uh, yeah, so that's where it's going to go, my printer, it's going to go up here on top of that, yeah, it's going to replace that, and, uh, get it going. Alright guys, there it is. So, like I said, if you wanted to actually add the foam, you could add the foam, it'll actually help clean the filament, but, uh, and there it is. A couple M4 screws. Alright, awesome. So yeah, the uh, link will be down below if you want to print this out for your printer. Um, I am going to be trading, changing my extruder out to a uh, Voron extruder. Um, yeah, this one just kind of become loose in there. So, Alright guys, cool.